Hello, my name is Claude Taylor and welcome to my How To Plumbing Channel. I would like to take this time to thank all my subscribers and friends for supporting me throughout the years here on YouTube. And if this is your first time here at my YouTube channel, I hope you enjoyed the videos. And if you do, give it a thumbs up and become a subscriber. Thank you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here we have a uh, tub and shower faucet. And this particular one is a mowing. And as you can see, it's dripping. And this is one something that uh, we like to stop. So we're going to uh, remove the uh, cartridge from the uh, behind the handle here. And you can see if you notice above, I have I have it down uh, mowing tub and shower cartridge. This is a 1225, 1225. So when you do go to uh, a hardware store anywhere to pick up this cartridge, this particular one, you want a 1225. And this is the mowing that pulls out. They uh, basically they have two major um, types of mowing tub and shower valves for residential now when we get in commercial it gets a little different and this is the 1225 this is the particular one that pulls out so you have to make sure you get the right cartridge and this is the tool that's made for this uh, mowing tub and shower cartridge to pull it out and we may not be needing this part but it's there uh, that's usually when you have one that's really stubborn and been in there for years and and you really can't pull it out. It's a little trick to pulling that out. Um, hopefully one day I'll run into a one that we would use that on and that would help out a lot. And I was just there, I was just showing you the uh, Phillips screwdriver. I mean, this is like a six way screwdriver. And right now I'm just gonna flip it around to the flat side so I can flip this cap off of the uh, handle. Now in this particular video I may not have uh, a lot to say in this because this this mowing um, valve replacement is fairly simple. Um, this is probably the most preferred faucet used throughout uh, any plumbing company or any plumber would like to use. This, this is the most standard one that we do go and install. And that's because mowing has made it so simple and it's sturdy and simple to work with. Probably the hardest part right now would be, you know, getting these screws out because they're so long and it takes like forever. Yep, I had to edit that and take out quite a bit of that. It took uh, some time pulling these screws out. Normally, um, just for purposes of the viewing ordinance, I'm using the screwdriver, but normally I would just uh, use a drill with a Phillips head bit on it and just zip it right out of there. Okay, now we have the uh, plate off, which is what we call the cover plate, and this is another part of the discussion, and when I say discussion, a scutcheon and trim is basically the same. It is the uh, decorative parts of the any type of faucet. And this is the uh, view. Now, I didn't turn the water off to the house yet because I wanted to see if they had some intricate stops, meaning some built-in stops, cutoffs on the side of the valves. In a lot of places they do. Uh, but this particular one didn't have it, so I had to go cut it off outside. Okay, now I do have it cut off outside. 
So before I uh, attempt to remove the uh, cartridge, I am going to um, relieve the pressure. And one of the reasons this is taking so long to drain down because this there is a uh, another bathroom above this one, so we're getting the uh, water draining down from the top floor down here to the second floor. Here we go. Now it's time to uh, get this old cartridge pulled out. This here is the uh, new cartridge. And this particular cartridge is uh, made by Danco. Um, this is a Moen faucet, and you can buy a Moen cartridge with the Moen brand, with the original one. But Danco is a off-brand, and it's a little, lot, a little cheaper than the uh, original Moen cartridge. And this uh, Moen cartridge from Danco, the, the brand name, I uh, picked it up at the uh, Home Depot not too far from here. And this is a closer view of what it looks like. And the little white tool on top, we're going to use that. That's going they they always come with that, which is really good. And that little uh, ring there, that's uh, just for setting the, uh, making sure that the handle, when the handle goes back on, it stays stable and doesn't rock back and forth. So remember to uh, put that back in before you put the handle on. And this is a big mistake a lot of uh, people make. They forget, well, they actually don't know that that retainer pin comes out. And if you do not remove this retainer pin, that uh, cartridge is not going to come out. So I've seen, been to uh, quite a few homes that the uh, homeowner tried to replace them themselves, which is fine, but they didn't know that retainer was the problem and they really destroyed the valve just trying to get it out. <coughs> And this tool here, that I said, it comes with the package. And you can see how it pops and locks right in the little spot right there. This is going to make it easy to pull the cartridge out because what we're going to do is take that tool and rotate the uh, cartridge back and forth, loosening it up inside of the uh, valve itself. See, that's pretty hard, kind of hard, but it's not so bad with all this hard water here where we live so now this particular cartridge do not make a mistake and get the go out and buy the uh, 1222 that's why I've posted it up on top so you know which one to get this is the there's two strong types of um, Moen cartridges this is the uh, Moen this, this particular tool is made for this uh, cartridge. But the uh, Moen cartridge, they have two of the most popular ones that they use is this one, the 1225 and the 1222. The 1225 pulls out. So if you've got a Moen faucet, tub and shower faucet that pulls out, that's this one here, the 1225. If it doesn't pull out, you're going to need the 1222. Okay, let me give you a real good close close up of it. If you like me, I want to see things close up and personal. Now you can see how that tool is made too. Fit right in that little slot there. Right now, I might be able to turn it with my hands since I loosened it up a little bit. 
Maybe not. Now you can see that this tool is made similar to the uh, little white piece of plastic tool that they gave us in the box. It's got the little cutouts so that you can uh, twist and turn the uh, cartridge. But personally I like the uh, plastic one better. I actually just use this to uh, pull it out. And you see that came out fairly easy. Sometimes they don't come out that easy and then that's going to be another video. And what you see here, I have a bar of soap here that I grabbed from the side there. And I'm going to take some of that soap and I'm using it as lubrication to lube up the uh, the O-rings and stuff like that. So that it'll slide in without any snags. I mean, some of the packages do come with a little packet of uh, oil. Uh, this particular packet didn't. So, so we're going to use the um, soap. It works out good. Okay, this is important and this is a warning. Do not forget to replace this retainer pin because if you do when you go to turn the water back on and that retainer pin is not there, that cartridge will shoot out like a missile and someone could get hurt. So make sure that that retainer is in place. Now that we have the uh, retainer in place, we can just uh, start putting everything back together. Usually when you do put it back together, you want to put that part in that I just did first. It makes it a little easier to kind of line it up. And yes, this would be a good time to uh, replace all the trim, put some new trim in there. <laughs> 